Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we discussed that how you can write the X path for the web table based on row index and the column index. Now in this video, I'm going to write a sample script which will read the value from a specific column. So assume this is our web table and I want to read the value of second row first column. So first let me open the developer console to find the X path for this web table. So just press the F12 and this will launch the developer console. Okay, so this is the ID of table. So table at the rate ID. If I expand this, you can see here there is a T body. So for this table, they have used the T body for row as well as the column data. Okay, so the first row represents the column heading and the second from the second row onwards, it's data. So here they don't have a T head. So after that T body. Slash row and slash column. We want to read the value from the second row first column. That is this one. So index is two and this will be one. So let me cross check. So in the developer window, just press the escape and it will launch the console here. Just use dollar X for the X path. So if I double click on this, you can see here it is highlighting the second row first column. So this is our X path. So inside my Catalan studio, first I'm going to create a folder called grid. And also inside the object repository, I will create a folder called web table test object. So this folder will contain all the test object for my rows and column of the web table. So new test object, I will call it as row two description. Represent the second row and first column. Just click on add, provide the X path. So inside our grid folder, I'm going to add a test case called get value. So the initial step remains same, open the browser, navigate to the application URL and maximize the browser window. So open browser and this will be the application URL. After that, wait for page load. And this will be our global variable dot timeout. Then we will maximize the browser window. And after that, we are going to read the value from second row, first column. So here, if I search for text, there is a keyword called get text. I'm going to use that. Specify your test object, which is row two. And after reading the value from the grid, I'm going to store inside a variable. So let me create a variable quickly. So row two variable okay and i'm going to use this variable to store the output then i'm going to switch to the script mode so that i can display the value so here i will use a function called sysout that is system dot out dot print ln and our variable so which is row to variable and i will just introduce a delay so web ui dot delay for two seconds and then close the browser so web ui dot close browser and also let me append extra string or let me choose the 
logger that is keyword util utils dot login for and here I will put this is from web table and the value which is our variable okay so once this is done I'm just going to run this script switch back to the manual mode and run this script in a Chrome browser So the execution is done. Let me see the logs. So you can see here, this is the value which is coming from the web table. I forgot to add the space. So, or oh, let me move, put some warning so it will be highlighted differently. okay and i'm going to rerun the script in chrome browser so it's done i'll just put a filter of warning so you can see this is the warning which is coming from this statement and this is the value okay which is from second row first column so in this manner you can read the value from the web table that's all for this video and thanks for watching